Hey, what's going on? Aaron here. Hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be checking out this website right here called Flipper, and maybe you're wondering, can you really make money from this website? Flipping website and buying websites, selling websites, that sort of thing. Let's check it all out. Maybe it's a waste of time. Maybe there are better ways to make money online out there, right? Let's check it all out. Now, anytime if you want to find out my favorite way to make $10,000 or more, 100% from home, click the link below and I'll share with you my favorite strategy on this channel. I have reviewed hundreds and hundreds of different strategies to make money online. Um, some of them are really good. Some of them are so-so. A lot of them, though, big waste of time. So let's check out Flipper to find out whether this is a good way to make money on the internet, all right? Now, Flipper is a very old and long-standing uh, marketplace where you can buy and sell not only websites, but apps as well, all right? It's actually pretty cool, okay? So if you come to flipper.com, um, you can basically have a look and, and you know find different types of things that you can buy and sell. So SaaS companies, you can buy blogs, you can buy Shopify e-commerce websites, you can buy um, authority websites where they monetize it through AdSense. You can buy Amazon platforms. You can buy YouTube social media accounts, things like that, which is really cool. So it just depends on what you're looking for. Okay. Um, now, if you want to see some of the, the actual websites itself, right? So let's just say, you know, we wanted to, you know, check out a, a SaaS website. So we'll click out a SaaS website right here and, you know, they can rank them by uh, basically by price by age, by category, um, even by editor's choice, all right? So we'll check out the editor's choice. Usually the editor's choice, they're pretty expensive, but I just wanna show you, you know, the quality of, of some of these things right here. I mean, $250,000, you know, a lot of people can't afford that, but this one brings in about $7,000 per month profit. And you might be wondering, well, why are people selling their websites if they're making so much money, right? Well, people have all sorts of different reasons for wanting to sell their properties. Some people are flipping their websites. Some people might, need the money you know maybe they they really need uh you know a big sum of money and seven thousand dollars a month is not enough for them maybe they want to exit the business maybe they have uh, a business deal that went wrong they're not doing well with their business partner many many reasons why people would want to sell their business so this is just a marketplace for them to do that right a look at this one e-commerce food and drink a hundred thousand dollars this one brings in about a thousand five hundred dollars per month okay uh and so on and so forth right almost a million dollars here twenty three thousand dollars per month that kind of thing but they have cheaper ones too okay now what, what i do like about this website is you know this is for specific uh, specifically for SaaS, but there's so many different you know types of websites that you can buy and sell you can even buy apps right you can buy domains right so you can literally um you know buy a domain here and um, you could resell it later on for for something a little bit more expensive right so again trump vance you know 500 dollars again but this is very um timely you know if you were to buy this um, you know, could you really resell it, you know, later on? Probably not. Okay. So again, it just, it just depends on, on what's available. Um, and, and what, you know, might be good. Like this one might be a good, a good one touchdown. This could be a good sports type of domain that you might be able to sell in the future. Right. This one might be a good one too, Picasso, right. Depending on, on whether someone wants to buy it for an art website, things like that. So you can, you know, get some pretty cool stuff here. It just depends on, again, strategy is so important. There's so many ways that you can play this, right? I'll talk about the pros and cons in a second. I just want to show you around so that you can understand what's available here, right? Um, apps as well is pretty cool, right? So with the apps, you know, for example, some of them are not very expensive. You know, some of them are expensive. You can see this, I mean, this is you know, $222,000 app, right? But they've got some pretty cheap apps as well, okay? So you could go by price, and we can find some cheap apps, and some of them are making a little bit of money, like, you know, like this one right here, $110, it's a doc scan app. They make about $5 per month, okay? So over time, you can make your money back. Um, I saw a pretty interesting one, previously like this one is pretty interesting right ai removal background so it removes the background on images it's almost 500 dollars, but they make they claim to make 60 dollars a month so potentially you could make your money back on this within you know six months for example right uh sorry sorry 10 months on this right so again it just depends on on what you're getting but again i'm going to talk about the pros and cons about this 500 dollars, you could make your money back in five months pretty cool ai back background eraser right from the uae <clears throat> so different things that you can buy you know definitely something that you can check out you can check out marketplaces things like that right let's just say we want to buy a marketplace as well and then I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about the pros and cons of this okay so <clears throat> we've got this one right here, Golden Gram Award. 
$8,000, they make $13,000 a month. Again, doesn't really make sense, right? They're selling it for so cheap, but they're making way more money. We'll talk about that in a second, right? So this one sounds like a really, really good deal. But the question is, is it really a good deal or not? Okay. Um, you know, this is a bit more realistic. $5,700. They make almost $200 a month, right? Uh, $9,500 in Vato Code Canyon profile. They make about $670 a month. You get the idea. Okay. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of doing something like this. Okay. So first of all, I think the flip is a cool website in general. If you're looking for something really big and you want to buy it, and potentially you know have it as an investment because look if, if you know there are people that are selling some really big websites established sites right and if you've got a lot of money or you've got you know for example um i mean look at this one it's almost you know it's almost a million dollars and they're making about fifty thousand dollars um you know a month right this is an eight-year-old revenue membership online marketing niche website okay maybe they just want to offload it um and it, it does generate you know quite a lot of income right so if you have a lot of money and you're looking to buy a business then this is actually a pretty cool place to do it all right but if you're looking to flip something then the, your strategy has to be very very succinct like you have to really understand how to do this correctly because for example if you were to buy this website right here for nine hundred thousand dollars are you necessarily going to flip it for 1.5 million dollars it depends you know it might take a long time for someone to want to actually buy the website the other thing that you have to understand as well is that with a lot of these things you have to be able to maintain the site okay so just because you buy something doesn't necessarily mean that it comes with all of the people that are going to support that business, right? So you have to be ready to have a team that's going to build the SEO and the backlinks and all of that stuff. So, you know, you need to understand what you're getting into as well. If you're buying something that you have no idea about, you don't understand the niche, you don't have an SEO team, nothing like that, you could buy something and it could just totally tank, okay? So that's 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 the thing, right? Another thing that you have to really be careful about with Flipper is Flipper is just a marketplace, right? So they don't vet any of the websites or the domains or the apps or the marketplaces or the SaaS companies or the services or even the AdSense companies that are listing themselves here. It's kind of like eBay, right? Which means that you're getting some good stuff, but you're getting a lot of shit as well, all right? Also, there are a lot of scams on Flipper, okay? That's one of the biggest complaints about Flipper is you don't really know if what you're buying is real or not, right? So therefore, just because it's on here and it looks good doesn't necessarily mean that the numbers or anything is accurate. Okay, so for example, if you if you check one of the apps or one of the websites and it says that it's making this much amount of money, you don't really know whether it's making that much amount of money. And then when you become a member and you're checking the traffic stats and things like that, you don't know if the backlinks are real and you don't know if the traffic that you're getting to that specific website is real. They could have paid someone to spike the traffic artificially just for a short period of time. So that is really the main problem with Flipper. It's not that the website isn't legit it's that it's an open marketplace and they don't do a very good job of vetting the people that are selling on the on the site they should because that's kind of what you're paying for but they don't unfortunately right and that's the biggest problem so you can find some good deals here and you could potentially buy some good businesses as well but there is a lot of junk on here and you don't know whether it's real. Some of them are just straight up scams, right? People have complained that they bought something and it's just it's just a dud. That means it's not it's nothing you know like what they expected. They spent $2000 and they got a website that doesn't produce any income at all because it's 100% a scam, okay? So you just need to be careful on that and that's what people are saying. Look, say so so people are saying things like, you know, it's a gamble most of the time. It's pretty easy to get junk traffic at a very low cost uh, to a website, so be vigilant, right? You have to be very good at vetting the websites before you buy it right see again be careful and do your own research get access to google analytics search console if you can check their backlink profiles and make sure there's nothing sketchy right if there are any weird spikes in traffic or suspicious traffic sources or low conversion rates despite high traffic i would be cautious 
okay? Most importantly, I check existing keyword position. If it's already ranking well or has potential to do well, it could still be worth it, right? So that's the thing about Flipper, all right? Um, is that it's not that there's not, there's nothing wrong with Flipper as a business. It's the, it's the websites that they allow to be sold on the website, right? Again, like I mentioned, they should do more due diligence, but they don't, unfortunately, right? They just provide you access to actually, you know, buying and selling the website but they don't do all their homework. They don't do the deep due diligence that they should on the people that are listing on the websites because so many people are just listing their stuff, all right? Now, another thing that I want to mention as well that is slightly different is that there have been a lot of complaints actually about Flipper in general. So generally, you know, so Trustpilot is a third-party website. In general, if it's, you know, four stars and above, it's okay, right? But they do have a lot of one-star ratings, you know, 24% one star ratings is high. That's pretty negative, honestly, right? So I always like to take a look and see what people are saying, especially when the one star ratings are high, okay? And a lot of the one star ratings are coming from, from people very recently. So this is happening like as we are, as I'm recording this video, there are a lot of people complaining about Flipper, right? And the main complaint that they have is that Flipper is banning and suspending people's accounts for no reason, all right? So you can take the time to read this, but essentially, that's the biggest complaint, all right, is that, there, well, two complaints really. The customer service is really bad and they don't they don't get back to you and people are getting their accounts banned for, for apparently no reason, all right? So they're saying that, you know, it's as, as simple as you, if you sneeze in the wrong direction, Flipper will just go ahead and ban, ban your account. So if you're trying to sell a website, if you're a seller, what people are saying is that Flipper isn't what it used to be and um, they're just getting their, their accounts banned and not they're not able to sell their website, which kind of sucks for website sellers, okay? But as a buyer, if you're a buyer and you're using this as a strategy to maybe buy a website and you want to make money from the website or maybe you want to buy a website and then later put it back on Flipper and sell it, there are pros and cons, right? So yes, there's some good stuff, but your due diligence has to be really, really high because Flipper's not gonna do the due diligence for you, unfortunately, okay? And then also, if you wanna flip stuff, like if you wanna flip a domain and things like that, it is possible to do it, but you just have to understand that a lot of it comes down to your knowledge on whether that is a good domain to buy and flipping it and selling it for a profit on Flipper, it might take some time, right? Because for example, if you buy a good domain uh, and maybe you got it for, for a really good price, right? Let's just say it was, um, that was a pretty good one, like Touchdown, I like this. This is, this is a pretty good website, a, a pretty good domain, right? It might take a long time for someone to buy this from you because it, again, it's just about luck, right? It's about, first of all, it's about whether you're good at picking the right products and right domains to sell how much did you actually buy it for, right? And, you know, it's timing. Is somebody interested in buying touchdown.com in the future and will they pay more than $3,500 on the price that you paid for it, right? We don't know these things. This all comes down to strategy and how good you are at buying and selling and flipping domains and websites, right? And the only way to do that is if you have experience or maybe you've purchased a course on it that will actually teach you how to do that. Okay, so, you know, just a couple of things to know, but overall, I think Flipper is pretty cool. Um, there are definitely pros and cons to this, but is this a fast way to make money? I don't think so. I don't think it is at all. I think this is a good way to um, get access to some really big businesses. Um, and if you have the funds for it and you're willing to do a lot of the deep due diligence, um, then you could, you know, potentially get something here that could be pretty cool. All right, but again, you need a lot of money, and for the ones that are cheaper, again, you know, at the at the cheaper levels, there are definitely a lot of crappy websites that aren't real, and there's a lot of scams. Um, but just be ready to do your due diligence, and you might find some good deals here. Just depends, okay? You might have to dig a lot and do a lot of research, so just be careful, is all. All right, so if you want to check out Flipper, Flipper dot com. Okay. Now, if you're here watching this video right now, maybe you are looking for a way to generate income online. On this channel, I've reviewed many, many different strategies to make money online. I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. Out of all the good strategies though, there is one that I use personally. I used it to quit my full-time job in 2019. I five times my old corporate salary. It's 100% online. I think it's a great strategy for beginners living anywhere in the world, as long as you have the internet. If you want to check out that strategy, I teach it uh, right at the bottom for free. Okay, I've got a masterclass on it. Just click the link right below and I'll give you access to it and you can check it out, all right? I hope you enjoyed this review of Flipper. All the best to you. I will see you on another video review. Take care.